Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss and show you how we handle the checkbox and radio buttons by using the playwright. So I have one form here, right, where we have some checkboxes as well as the some radio buttons. So now I am going to show how we handle this by using the uh, playwright and JavaScript. So generally, if we talk about the uh, checkbox or uh, radio button. Then we need to perform three actions. First, we need to ch check uh, the checkbox. Second, unchecked checkbox. Third, verify the checkbox is selected or not. So only these three we need to do with the checkbox, as well as the radio button also same. So in radio button, there is one difference. If I select any radio button, other will be automatically unselected right so now let's see how we handle this uh, by using the playwright javascript code so playwright provides two methods one is uh, checked okay this method basically will helps to check the checkbox it accept the locator we can like pass the css selector or xpath and then it will check on that particular uh, checkbox. Let's see. I am here calling the checkbox method. Let's see. Suppose that I am going to select check the second checkbox, like two uh, checkbox value. So let's create a CSS selector. I am going to get uh, attribute of the value attribute to create the CSS selector. So CSS selector is created for the checkbox. Now let's use this in our test script. Pass here. Let me use single quote. So this line of code will check the checkbox number two. Second, how we verify the checkbox is selected or not. So for that we have method page dot is checked. So there is a is checked method. Pass the element locators of the checkbox it will verify checkbox is selected or not and give us the boolean value like i am storing in a status one so i created one variable status one i am passing here then if we want to use the uh, like um, verify so we can use expected status one we can use the expect status one then called dot true v true true three right so we need to verify this checkbox number two is checked and we if we are getting the status then it means it will give it should give us the true if it is not giving the true it, it means the fail let's see now i'm going to run in debug mode I am running this debug mod so that I can show you the output. If I look here in the page, you can see two checkboxes selected. If I look here, that will be two uh, status two. Its value is true. I am getting, and also it verifies successfully. Okay, next we need to select uncheck the checkbox. So here I am going to uncheck the first checkbox. So first, let's capture the locator. So it has a value one. So I'm going to create CSS selector by using value one. So first checkbox, one checkbox, CSS selector is created. Let's use this. So when we we are when we are we want to check the checkbox, then we need we call the dot check the method. Now here I am going to uncheck. So I will call page dot unchecked method, and in this method pass the element locator. So this method basically uncheck the checkbox. Let's see checkbox is selected or not. So I can use this this line of code. Okay, only we need to update here the element locator of the first one. So page dot is checked, passing the locator of the first element. So before that I unchecked, so it means here we will get false. So let's verify this with the false to be falsy. 
I'm going giving the name this name status to variable name. Now let me run. Okay, if I mouse move here, you can see status two value false giving here is false getting. Let's see what is the on page. So page on the page one checkbox is unchecked. Two box checkbox is second checkbox is checked. So in this way we can handle the checkbox as well as we can verify the checkbox is selected or not. So here there are three methods we discuss page dot check. It will check the checkbox page dot uncheck. It will uncheck the checkbox and page that is checked. It will verify the checkbox is selected or not. Okay, so now let's move and to see how we handle the radio button. And so I'm going to create one method. Let's copy this. Here I can give the handle radio button. Okay, button. This first two lines I can copy. It will navigate the URL and verify the title. Next, suppose that we want to select the radio button. So here, let's see what is the default selection. So by default, it is selected the United States. Now I'm going to select the Canada. So first, if I want to select Canada, I need to get the locator. So it says the value CA. So we can create locator by using the value attribute. Okay, created the locator of the Canada checkbox. Here again, I need to call page dot check method for radio button. I also need to use the check method to check the checkbox. Next, check radio button is selected or not. So in that case, we can get the locator of the checkbox. Here I need to call each checked method. It will return the Boolean value either true or false based on the states of the checkbox. So we can store in a variable. Console dot log status one, or we can use to verify the value. So it will be given the true. So I can copy. Okay, expect status one to be true. Okay, so next we can verify the other like United State because when I select the Canada, it will automatically unselect to the United State. Here we can verify the United State is unselected. So same line of code we need to use, but here we need to change the locator of the US. So this is the value in US. Change here. Okay. Now in this is the status two variable name I am giving and the variable and here we need to verify to be false so to be false so let's see what what i code i did so first it will check the canada radio button next it will verify the canada radio button is selected or not if selected or is checked it will give us the true if not it gives us the false so now here I selected the first Canada, then I am going to again check US uh, option radio button is unselected. So here we will get false. Let me run. Let's see. You can see here Canada radio button is selected and United States is unselected. So let's see what is the value we are getting. So first it status 1 give us true and status 2 because this is now unselected. So it's giving us the false. So status 2 value is false. 
So in this way, we can handle the checkbox as well as the radio button by using the playwright and JavaScript code. Hope this tutorial will be helpful. And if you like the tutorial, click on the like button, subscribe the channel and share this tutorial to your friends and colleagues. And if you have any query, leave a comment.